Um, so this is how I sign all of my emails is with a very professional looking email signature. These are emails that I send out through Gmail, not necessarily through um, ConvertKit or MailChimp, although you could do something similar. Uh, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do this with a Gmail signature today. So uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to start from scratch. So I'm going to go into my other email account over here and show you exactly oops there we go we go over to settings and click the settings button and when you scroll down the signature is where you're going to put your new email signature now what exactly do we put there i'm going to show you how i go into canva and i'm going to click the email header if you don't have Canva already, this is something that you need to get. It is free and you can create beautiful graphics that are easy to make. You're going to love it. So I click the um, pre-configured email header size for my signatures. And then we're going to go to Elements, Frames, scroll down. My favorite to use is a circle, but you could use um, any of these shapes really. I like having, I like the way the circle looks in the email signature. Everything you do, you want to be kind of over to the left side. Um, if you put your signature right in the middle, it's really not going to look good on an email. So put everything over to the left. Here is a frame, and I've already uploaded an image to put in here. But you can have just your picture. Uh, you can even do a logo here, but I think a picture adds a nice personal touch. So now I have my photo. Go over to text. You'll just want something clean, so um, again, I align everything over to the left. Right here, let's say, my name is Abby Ashley, and I'm founder of the Virtual Savvy. Um, can you just put founder, the Virtual Savvy. You can put your phone number, if that's something that you want to have in your personal emails. It's not my phone number, but don't want to give that out over video right now. Um, whatever information you want to include here, you can do right here. And if you want something simple, you can even just do, um, you know, a fancy title like Abby Ashley. Sometimes I like to do that. If you just want to sign something simply. <laughs> Uh, virtual can't type today so this works as well um, you can even if you have a logo this is a lot of times what I like to do is put I'm founder of and have my logo here I've already uh, in Canva for work, you can put your logos. So I like to put founder of the virtual savvy. So play around with this until you get, you know, exactly what you want your email signature to look like. But we're going to stick with this for right now. So signature title right here. So I know where to find it. We're going to download the image. It takes a second to download. There we go. We'll download the image. Now you are ready to put it in your email signature, but you'll notice whenever you go over to insert an image, you can't just uh, upload the image or drag it in like you usually can. So what we're going to do is we actually need to find our image URL. So um, I just found this site by going to image URL maker, but um, it's actually the one that I like to use is post image right here. It's easy, it's free, you don't have to watch any advertisements. So whenever we go to, um, whenever you upload the image, you can find your image right in your downloads. You don't want to resize it, it's family safe, of course. And there we go. Now your image has a URL. You're going to want to use this direct link, so copy that to the clipboard. Go back over to settings, paste it here, and boom, there's your image. We'll upload it. Now you can just stick with this, um, but a lot of times what I like to do is also add follow me buttons. 
so it makes your signature a little more interactive. So I'm gonna click follow me. Let's put this in the fonts that I actually like to use. Follow me. And so what you're gonna do now is ha add icons. So um, normal icon size is 32 by 32 pixels, but you can also um, just use the ones that I've downloaded um, on this blog for you. So uh, those are easy to find. You'll find a link below this video where you can download those icons. And so that's what I'm going to use here. Um, so I'm going to go back uh, over to image codes. Let's just go back to postimage.org. I'm going to find these icons, which I've just saved on my desktop. Here we go. So if I use this Facebook one, I can upload it. My images are actually 40 by 40, and I did that just because um, I used a circle image. But most images, um, icons you find are going to be 32 by 32. So if you're looking for icons, that's actually the size you'll look for. We'll copy the second one to clipboard, come in, add a photo, post it. There's our little Facebook image, select, and now we have it right here. Um, and if you want to, well, you'll obviously want to make it to where someone can click on this within the body of the email. So how you'll do that is you'll actually have to highlight the image, go over here to this link button, go to, you'll change this link, it automatically has the link just as this dash. So we're going to put, oops, .com slash the virtual savvy. And now whenever somebody clicks on it, it'll go to that link. And you can go ahead to proceed to put in um, your Pinterest here. Go ahead and do another one just to show you that process again. Here, let's do my Twitter. But I've added uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Twitter, all these icons here for you that you can download for free. We're going to upload it. There's our Twitter icon, here's our direct link, copy it to clipboard, come back over, insert the image, paste it, select, and now I want to highlight it whenever I put the link in. And we're going to change it to www. Oops, alright, click OK. And now I have a beautifully branded email signature. We'll just save the changes. And whenever you write an email, that signature is going to show up for you. Here's your beautifully branded Gmail signature. Have a good day. Happy marketing.